that's not trash. That's good material in there. Look, two butter containers, a couple of slightly used drinking straws, an empty pen case with lid, and what else? Oh, look, there are three rubber bands, two paper clips, and a tiny little bead. Not trash at all. What we have here is the makings of a butter buggy dragster. Or if you start with margarine containers, I guess a margemobile. How could that be? Well, I'm glad you asked. All we need to do is to make some wheels, a body and an engine, and we're in business. Let's try it. To make the wheels, first of all, we can use the lid of the butter container and mark out a circle with a coffee cup or something similar. There we are, like that. Well, once you've done that, you simply cut it out with the scissors, which is one of the main tools that you'll need for this exercise. I've already done that one there. There we are. I've cut out a circle. It's a thin but fairly strong plastic. So once we've got it in that position, we need to make, right in the very centre, a small hole for the axle. Now to do this, make sure your fingers are well away from the centre, and then carefully, with the point of the scissors, Wiggle it backwards and forwards. Better still, if you have an old wooden bench, do it over the wooden bench like that. Till you make a small hole, and then gradually enlarge it with the blade of the scissors until it's almost the size of the small drinking straw. There we are there. Won't quite fit in, so what I need to do is to just crimp the end of that straw over slightly. Now it will fit in, and I can push it in so that it makes a tight fit. There's one of the wheels on one of the axles. Now, at this point here, let me tell you, you don't need the whole drinking straw for the back axle, about two-thirds of it. Cutting off one-third of it and saving that for the front axle. There we are. Now, you make a second wheel, put it on the other side. Well, you might have guessed I've already done that. But look what else I've done. Very cunningly, I've placed the larger of the two drinking straws. Yes, I did just happen to find two of different sizes. And I've sliced off a piece of that which is a little bit shorter than the green back axle here. About like that. So now, when that's attached to the body, the wheel can spin freely. There's a single wheel spinning freely. Here's a double wheel on the back axle spinning quite freely. That's the back wheel of the dragster. And I did the same sort of thing for the front wheels, but I used a smaller cup, this time an egg cup, to cut out those front wheels. Already assembled, thin straw going through a thick straw, and there's the front wheels. Right. There's the basic part of our dragster. Now what we need is a body. You guessed it. That's where the empty pen case comes in. That's going to sit right in the middle in this position here and attach the two parts together. And the motor, of course, will be on the body. Now to make the motor, we'll first of all have to put a little motor housing. And that's where the pen cap comes in. You'll need a sharp knife for this. First of all, slice off the little part of the pen that normally goes into your pocket. And at the other end, Slice off the very point of the pen cap so that you can see air right through. There we are. That's the motor housing. Now, we need a propeller for this. So, you guessed it, we don't even waste the side of the margarine container or butter container, but we draw out the shape of a propeller, cut it out, find the centre. Well, I've already done that. And here's a propeller that's cut out and partially assembled. You'll notice that uh, I've straightened one of the paper clips and I've inserted it through the propeller to make a spindle so that it can now spin quite freely. Not only that, I've bent left-hand side of this blade up, right-hand side down. Turned it around, same thing the other end. Left, left hand up, right hand down. Okay, so now it spins freely and it'll push air out the back. Now, here's a motor body already assembled. You can see what I've done. The pen cap is taped with a piece of tape firmly to one end. Now I poke it through here in that position there. That could cause real problems because the wire might get in the way and that's where the little bead comes in. Wooden bead or plastic bead, if that's threaded through the spindle of the propeller, then it comes between that and the pen cap and it will spin much more freely. And then we turn around the end of the paper clip and bend it into a hook in that position there. What did I do with the second paper clip? Well, you can see that I've bent that and poked it in the other end of the pen body like that. The motor itself is one of those rubber bands. So we hook it on in this position here. There we are, hooking onto the propeller at this end and then down over the other paper clip at the other end. And all we need to do is to wind that up and we'll have a real motor. 
but we haven't attached it to the wheels yet and so we need to come back and use the other two rubber bands for that very purpose. Back wheels first of all, we start by placing one rubber band right around the propellers like that, underneath the axle, loop it under the axle, then bring it up over the propeller blades and back onto the body and that single rubber band, if it's a small one, about the right size, will actually attach things quite firmly together. And we do the same sort of thing at the other end. We first of all place a rubber band over the pen case in that position there, under the front axle, up over the front of the dragster body, then reconnect the rubber band motor and the machine is about ready for launching. One more thing has to be done, of course, and that's to wind up the motor. Now, you'll find with rubber bands of different lengths and different strengths, you'll need a different number of turns. I've found out with these rubber bands that I need about 100 turns. So I'll rapidly wind it up, making sure that I'm turning the blades in such a way that when they turn back the other way, it's going to push air out the back. And uh, when I have 100 turns, I'll be ready to go.